Welcome back. Arizona is a stunning place, and aside from actually visiting all its beautiful corners, you can experience them through the lens of Arizona Highways Magazine. And here with a preview of this next month's issue is Editor-in-Chief Robert Steve. Robert Steve with the good hair, always on fleek as they say. Welcome back. <laughs> what do they say? Always on, on fleek? fleek? Oh, I haven't heard that. Yeah, well, you'll have to use that have from to now Google on. Google that. Put that on your Facebook, <laughs> on your Twitter. As always, good to see you. Thanks. I know we're going to see some great pictures when yeah. you come along. And I said Arizona's backcountry. What does that really mean? Well, you know, it's sort of where the, the pavement, paved roads end, and yeah. then they segue into dirt roads, mm -hmm. and then where those dirt roads end, then you're in the backcountry. Got it. And we're starting with the cover, yeah. uh, first of all, which is the Esplande region. Yeah, this is a, a section of the, uh, of the Grand Canyon. And so, um, you know, we, we, we typically feature things that are accessible to the majority of, of your viewers and our mm -hmm. readers, but some of this stuff's a little more intense, but, um, you know, you can read it in the magazine and make a, a decision for yourself. But um, this is a trek that uh, um, that gentleman and our photographer made up into a pretty remote part of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, and it should be noted, even though the roads end, you can still get to them by foot yeah. or, oh, or yeah. maybe by helicopter. Right. Well, yeah, you could get there by or parachute, probably or, parachute. or spaceship, Ooh. whatever. Now you're giving people ideas. Whatever you have access We're not to. liable if you try any of these things, <laughs> and it doesn't go well, by the way. Uh, next up, pages eight through eighteen through nineteen, a remote arch. Yeah, this is up on the Navajo Nation, and um, you know, there's a lot of spectacular scenery up on on the Navajo Nation. You do need a permit. You can't do anything in the backcountry without a permit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we strongly encourage you to to make sure you get those things taken care of. But you know, if you get out and, and ideally, you know, you go out with a guide and the, the, the Navajo Nation is, uh, has a lot of opportunities where you can have somebody take you out there and that's, that's probably the best way to do it. Right, and this picture is striking. I mean, just look at the difference between the dark and the bright. I mean, they mm -hmm. call that HDR in the business, right? It's when you get both. A little bit, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful shot. They caught the sunlight just, just right. Just glowing red. Up next, Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Actually, I think we're up in uh, Workman Falls. I skipped one, you you're right. You skipped one, Workman. You, Alex. Um, yeah. yeah, well, you know, it's like, you know, we, you and I were just talking off camera that, that it's uh, almost September and, and, and in Arizona, fall starts happening around the end of August, yeah. early September. So this is up Ooh. in the uh, Tano National Forest and it won't be too long and we'll start seeing some color up in that, that area. Those leaves start changing. It reminds me up there in uh, Mount Lemmon. Yes. You know, when you start hiking, uh, you know, near the gulch, yeah. Marshall's Gulch yeah. there, the colors start changing. It's just gorgeous. Now we'll go to Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Yeah, and this one is, uh, you know, maybe not a place you want to go quite yet. You need it to cool down a little bit. This Ooh, is yeah. uh, east of Phoenix and it's just a really beautiful wildlife refuge with um, there's a lot to see there. I mean, it looks pretty remote and rugged. There's not a lot of trails in there, so exploring it uh, does require some backcountry skills in terms of understanding how to use a GPS mm -hmm. and, and a compass. You know, by the way, GPS are great, but always take an old-fashioned compass along too. Batteries die and things like that. So, and of course, plenty of water. Technology, you know, you can't live with it, can't live without it. It, it will fail. At, at some point, yeah. <laughs> so we'll, have, a, have a backup, of That's course. right. Uh, there we see a nice monsoon sort of starting to form in that picture. And this next one, is it Hagler or Hagler? Hagler Creek. This Hagler. is uh, central Arizona up in, uh, uh, along the Mugion Rim there, Hell's Gate Wilderness. Just a beautiful spot. This one's actually pretty easy to get to. It is a dirt road, but you can could do it in a in a station wagon if you if you wanted to, um, but uh, there's a campground and fishing and things. But you can sort of bushwhack up along that creek and and get your feet wet, as wow. they say. Now is this always flowing, or are there yeah. certain parts of the year where it's not? Yeah, this okay. is a perennial stream up there, and um, uh, as you can see, it's 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 not too shabby. Beautiful. Up next, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a meme about this on the internet. The double <laughs> Remember the double rainbow guy? Yes, I do. Someone actually captured this. This is way up north. This is uh, the the where the rain the gold the pot of gold on the left there is going down into the little Colorado Gorge. Wow. So um, you're actually uh, right up on the, sort of the border of the Navajo Nation and uh, Grand Canyon National Park up there. But uh, just a beautiful panorama and a spot that. Uh, Somebody with a camera happened to just stunning. get the rainbow. They got lucky. They got that pot of gold. And last but not least, we're going to look at the back cover, too. What do we have here? Yeah, this is uh, Ash Creek Falls, the Pinaleno Mountains uh, in the eastern part of the state over by uh, uh, Safford and that, that area down there. And uh, just, uh, you know, we're, as you mentioned on, on the lead, you know, there's so many beautiful places to see and things to do in our state. Yeah. And, of course, this just scratches the surface. Well, that's why, I mean, so many people travel outside of the United States, outside of the, uh, even Arizona, right. to go see other countries. I'm like, there's so much in our own backyard that we have not even touched, have not even seen. 
like this, for example, it, just being there, it'll be so serene and relaxing and picturesque. Yeah, you know, and it's and it's a four seasons opportunity. People sort of joke that we don't have any seasons yeah. here, but and that may be true to some degree in the mm -hmm. deserts, but uh, you know, the state's not all desert. There's a lot to see and, and, and things to see at all times right. of the year. So Visiting the same place even twice in the same year, it'll yeah. be a completely different experience. Sure, the Grand Canyon's different every time you go. That's right. Well, that's why we love Arizona highways when you come on and show us a preview. So thanks, thanks for joining us thanks again. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Next, to experience even more of Arizona's beauty, subscribe to Arizona Highways Magazine. Call 1-800-543-5432 or visit ArizonaHighways.com.